Hello, my name is Jackson Cleaver and this is the Tiger Highline Online. We have some great stories to bring you today, including The Track and Cross Country Iron Stomach Challenge by Jack Jorgensen and Benjamin Rumsey An interview of Julie Cuvelier, the Entrepreneurship Teacher by Xander Groover A taste test of different donuts across Cedar Falls by Javier Acevedo Reed and Daniel Mitchell and a podcast on how to clone yourself through editing by Daniel Mitchell. This is the Iron Stomach Challenge. On Wednesday, November 13th, Cedar Falls track and cross country athletes participated in the annual Iron Stomach Challenge, where they would go to McDonald's and eat as much as they can before throwing up and trying to race each other back to the high school to win the challenge. Winner of the race, Michael Gutenbauer, explains his strategy going into the race and how he would take first. I feel like a beast. Never lost. <laughs> Felt great when I was running. What was your strategy going into it? Eat a lot of chicken. <laughs> I asked many athletes how they felt after the race, and this was their responses. I ate too much beef. Uh, it looked like I threw up blood, but it was Hawaiian punch, so I'm great. <laughs> It's fun to see other people puke and have a hard time running. <laughs> Terrible. I ate a lot of food and I felt like I was going to throw up. Uh, I feel like I could have done better, but it's whatever. <laughs> have a good Thanksgiving. This has been Jack Jorgensen reporting for the Tiger Highline Online. This is the interview of Julie Cuvelier. Entrepreneurship class is a course that allows students to explore just the kind of the basics of running a very simple sole proprietorship, which is a small business model. Uh, they do come together as a group and invent a product, and they um, support that uh, product by developing materials like a marketing flyer and an order form. They do sell the product and use the funds for a benefit somewhere in our community. Uh, at the end of the semester, they do write a business plan that has to do with what they would like to explore as a small business. So it is an introductory course to just some small business concepts. Uh, I'd say some of the challenges were uh, all the green on our products and like uh, our company logo and the name of our company. It was just uh, everyone had their own ideas and they kind of wanted their ideas to win. So it was kind of hard to all come together and decide one. I've been teaching this class for 13 and a half years. I think I've had probably close to 50 companies foreign class students. I'd say it's kind of taught me how to work uh, as a team with other people and just how to make uh, decisions as a group. There's very little input by um, myself. I do set up a structure for them, but otherwise we do vote class presidents, and then we divide in departments, and everything is discussed as a class, and as, uh, as a class company, they do votes, they do discussion-based decision-making to determine what product do they want, what marketing fire do they like the best, what is the best order form, and then after profit comes in, they do come together again for more discussion on uh, where that money can go to help in the community. Um, they name themselves as a class company, so it is completely, totally student-driven. So we vote two, two people to be the president, a uh, stature of the company. They are the leaders of the company, so maybe a president and a vice president or a co-president situation. And then um, each other, or all the other students are divided up into groups which involve um, the design of the product, human resource, finance, um, the distribution of the product, and the marketing of the product. So everybody has a job throughout the semester and they complete their job in the time that we need it to be completed. Um, they also each individually contribute to um, the tasks that need to happen for the company so they can learn a lot of things along the way. And um, finally at the end they um, do close that company by donate, donating the profit out and there's closing of the company and they move on from there. So. Uh, right now we are selling uh, crew sweatshirts and hooded sweatshirts and they come in uh, black and red. 
Uh, the crew sweatshirts are $20 and the hooded sweatshirts are $25, but it's an extra $2 if you get a 2X in any of those. Um, you can find any one of us who have flyers or Miss Cooper is another option. Um, you probably seen the flyers around school. Pay attention to the ones that they have all the names listed on there. People you can go to that can get you a flyer and get the word from filled out and you can order one just like that. This is a donut taste test. And there's like. <laughs> Thanks, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> So why are we on our way to? Try out some donuts. That's what we like and don't like. We're gonna ask them what the most popular donut is. So first, I have a question. So first question. First question. What's your most popular? Popular. What is your most like popular like donut? Donut. This we got two of them. Get two of those. Get two of those. We're gonna get two. And later on, we're gonna try them all out. See what we think, and move on from there. So the first place we went to was Hertz Donuts, and their most popular donut was the Jesus. And I thought it was an interesting name, and their presentation was pretty cool. And their overall building that they were at was uh, really artistic and fun, and I, I liked it. And did you like it? Like, yeah, you know, it was tight. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> More interesting. There's a lot going on here. On a scale from one to ten, I'll give it a solid. Not a solid. I'll give it a seven or an eight. Seven. Because I'm not really a donut eater. Yeah, I kind of like this. I like it, but it's like that was a lot to take in. Okay. For me, I give it a thick eight. This but video has to be two minutes. Cut it down. This is beautiful. <laughs> so the next one that we have is from Dunkin Donuts and it's called the Holiday Brownie Crumble Donut and the it looks pretty cool and when we went in there they were really nice like you would expect from a coffee donut shop. Let's just hop into it. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> so for me, the texture is pretty weird, like with the uh, brownie crumble on top and the overall donut. You know, I wouldn't rate this one the best. Yeah, yeah. I I give this one like a like a five six subpar. <laughs> so for the next one, we went to Icon Donuts and got the Godfather. And just like Hertz Donuts, the interior was very. Uh, artistic and it seems like Hertz Donuts and Icon are very similar in a lot of ways so let's see if that's the same with the taste of their donuts. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> well, this isn't Hertz Donuts. This, this tastes nothing like Hertz Donuts. Yeah. It seems like Hertz Donuts is kind of ranking out everything. I'd have to give this one like a like a six. Like it's not six. bad, but because when you look at it, you don't really know what's in here. And I see it's really confusing. I think it's like peanut butter or like a pistachio mm -hmm. or something. It looks like it's trying to like imitate what like the like the Jesus got going on because it is a lot going on on this because it has it has the chocolate chips, it has the peanuts, it has the crumble and stuff going on. And yeah, it's just not like uh, coming together right. So uh, that's our verdict. That's our review on these popular donuts. And uh, yeah, hoping we can do more of these. So yeah, this is Daniel with the Tiger Highlight sign off. Yeah, you can taste the nut. <laughs> This is the podcast on cloning yourself.
Hi, hello, what's up? How are you doing on this fine, beautiful evening? I'm glad y'all got a chance to listen to what me and Javier had to say. Just to get your mind going a little bit. This isn't a normal video tutorial thing. We just want to see how you think. But first and foremost, let's just jump into this. Show you how to do this really easy and simple uh, draw mask effect to... Uh, double a person in a video so first what you have to do is you have to get a camera whatever phone iphone camera whatever doesn't matter and just have a subject or someone just have a couple seconds or like however long you need of them in one space and then have them move to another next space and then another space and another you can have how many other spaces you want and next step all it takes is just some cropping and then after you uh, crop the spaces and make everything even, because if everything's not even, it's going to pretty, pretty much look odd. That's why I had to make it crop around the fact and have them jumping around in those two little uh, uh, picks. So after you're done cropping, then after that, take, I mean, go in your tabs and look up draw mask effect. And in Final Cut Pro, that should be there. And yeah, like it just should, it should be there. Take it and drag it onto the first thing. And after you do that, you click on the first frame and it should, like where it should show up at the bottom. That's telling you that you're ready to click around. And after that, you just start clicking around, make sure that uh, it's all cropped correctly, you know, and just it's basically like cutting a uh, like newspaper and then putting it on different types of paper just crop around uh whatever you need make sure it's all even make sure there's no part where uh the head or whatever part of a piece of him is like vanishing off screen you know just make sure every movement is there and on screen and then you repeat this motion multiple times on every frame uh, except for the last one. I'll, now, I didn't do that because the frames that I had, they didn't work and sometimes they uh, didn't fit in. So I just had it look like he was moving back and forth from one place. And that worked out for me. You can do that too. Um, but, you know, like go through that and have that whole thing play through. But yeah, that's majority of how you do it. And then just find a beat, put it over it and... Yeah, that's the video. Um, I'm glad you got to sit through this and hear this awesome way to do this. I know there's a lot of tutorials on draw masks, and they don't really go into detail on like what you can do with it or how this could be used. This is another example of what a draw mask is capable of doing. And yeah, I'm just glad I got to help whoever watches this video. And yeah, I hope you have an awesome, blessed day. But yeah, okay, awesome. Have a wonderful day. That's all for this week, and, as always, we hope you have enjoyed it. Remember to tune in next time when we bring you more stories from the heart of Iowa.